Hello. Even if your mama see me, only, not just one day. Is that how to greet someone your mother's age? Um, I'm sorry, ma. Good morning. Is your neighbor? Hello. Good morning, Good morning, my new neighbor. You see, I'm the one living next door. Oh. And since you moved in, we've not officially met. So I said, let me come and knock your door this morning. Good morning. My name is Ebele. Mm -hmm. I have two teenage boys studying very hard in boarding school. And I have a very good darling husband that works at charity bank. Mm -hmm. I see. Welcome. I've been doing chores all morning. So tired. Hey. Why are you standing there now? Get me something to drink. What would you like to have? Coffee? Tea? Tea is fine. Thank you. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> you know, let me welcome you to our neighborhood. Thank you. If you look at your right hand side, we have two neighbors. On your far left hand side, we have another two neighbors. All of us are happily married. Every one of us. Where is your husband? Huh? Did he travel to Europe? No, I didn't say that. Ah. Okay. You know, I thought he was an international businessman. Those ones that used to fly out and fly in. You see how that was bad. That man can travel. That man can travel a lot. And that reason alone, Ada will be doing shakara, carrying a shoulder up, you know, be bragging for everybody just because her husband is rich. Hmm. You see that Ada was bad. He just impregnated one white man in Canada. And before you know, everywhere scattered. Ada became very, very humble. Who in the world is Ada? Oh, you've not met Ada. She is one of the neighbors on the far left hand side. You know? Eh, don't worry, I'll introduce no, it to all of them. No, I don't need your help, I'm fine. But you need to know your neighbors now. Eh? Like you know now, you already know Ada. So I will introduce you to um, Jacinta. I will Bumi. get to know them ah. in due season. Ah. I'll just say, you know. So you cannot put this thing in a tray, eh? Children of nowadays. Zera, get the stool and put it on it. Don't pour the tea away. Oh. Drop it. Ah. It's too sweet. Are you sure she can cook? Who? Your daughter now. Why do you ask? You know all these young girls of nowadays. The only thing they know is how to chase boys. Young, young boys up and down. Well, you don't know my daughter. Eh? Is it the one I saw yesterday at the back of the building with one boy? We are in the same tight short short thing that is showing all her body and all her buttocks. Eh? Why do you even allow her to dress like this? Can't she wear proper nightwear? Eh? Every morning, she's already on her phone, putting her earpiece in her ear. You know these girls, you don't know who they are talking to these days. Huh? At least you should carry broom, you know, sweep the house, clean everywhere. Excuse me. Do we know each other? But I already introduced myself now. I said I am Neighbor, your... yes, I heard you. But it doesn't make this conversation acceptable. My dear neighbor, leave that thing. We are all mothers. And we should look out for each other. That was how Bumi's daughter got pregnant last year. Because Bumi was doing the same or or Igbo parent style that people are doing. That Bumi's daughter is so spoiled. Now she has a son at 18. Hmm? 
Thank God I have only boys. So. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time for you to leave. Um, As you can see, it's just 7 o'clock and we're just starting our day. And like you said, we need to sweep and clean. I'm just saying. You know all these young boys now? They are looking for girls that they will divorce. You know, get them pregnant and just scatter everything. <sighs> Thank you for the tea. My neighbor, where is your husband? <laughs> okay, I'll see you the next time I come. Oh, greet that your daughter for me. Oh, next time I live next door. Don't forget to. Oh. What was that? Zara. Ow, mom. What are you doing listening to music without paying attention? Attention to what? Don't you have other things to do with your time? But, mom, I... Go and find something to clean. Or go wash the napkins in the kitchen. But they are clean. Go and check if there's something to tidy up. Go! I have washed the towels. I have washed the napkins, cleaned the table for the opt-in signs, scrubbed your bathroom, and cleaned the tiles that are not even dirty. Are you being cheeky with me? And why are you still wearing those bum shorts? Don't you have something decent to wear? You want all these boys in the air to be cat calling you all over the place? I have always had these bum shorts and I wear it every other day. And you've not complained before till today. Besides, I only wear it in the house. Well, I don't like it. Find something decent to wear. I hear you. Are you being rude? How nah? I bought you that phone. I can seize it. I hope you don't spend your time chatting with boys on WhatsApp, wasting your life away. And I hope you're not letting all these estate boys finger you. Enough! How dare you talk to me like that? No, mom. How dare you talk to me like this? Oh, so it has come to this, Abby. Mom, I I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry, but I, I, don't, I don't understand what's up with you today. Since that neighbor came this morning, you've been acting weird. See, if she told you that she's me with any boy in the neighborhood, then it's probably Kelechi. He goes to my school and he brought the handouts that I forgot in class. Since this is his way home. Leave my room. But mom, I... Out! Hello? You need to talk to your daughter. You need to be a father and talk to your daughter about boys and sex and heartbreak and the fact that men will embarrass you and the fact that marriage can lead to divorce. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what's this really about? I don't want our divorce to affect the quality of life of our daughter. We're not divorced. Huh? I said we're not divorced yet. That's not the point. Did you really mean those things you said to my mom? What? What you said the other day. You said I was... Patient. Gentle. Kind. Lovable. I didn't say you were lovable. <laughs> but you do think I'm kind and patient, right? Ugh, you need to take your head out of your ass and focus on important issues. Oh, relax, Rolly. Zara will be fine. You, on the other hand, need to get yourself a hobby. You're stifling the young woman. Oh, 
like the hobby you found out of your matrimonial bed, Abby? Wow. You know what? I'm not even going to dignify you with a response. Mm. I know you still believe in your head that I cheated on you because you refused to accept responsibility for your part in how things went down. Whatever. I'll talk to Zara about sex, boys, love, and how to be a woman who supports her man. Oh, I didn't support you. Is that what you're trying to say? You badgered me. You called me lazy, or unambitious, and... We had bills, and you'd rather read a book. Look, look, Rolly, we all have different ways of approaching life's challenges. Ah, uh, goodbye! Sometimes I don't think I'm doing this parenting thing right. Should I be harder? Should I be softer? I don't know. I don't want to fail you. Mom, how can you fail me? Look at our lives. We're doing just fine. It's beyond that. I want you to be a well-rounded woman. Mom, I learned about life from the best. I learned from you. And I'm going to make good choices because that's what you always do. I don't always make good choices. I mean, look at your father and I. Always fighting. Well, that's because you're in love. What? Don't be silly. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. I won't tell. Zara, <laughs> this is not about me or your father. This is about you. I'm sorry. I want you to be happy. I want to be part of your life. I don't be a paranoid mom. I want to be a friend, not a bully. <laughs> mom, but you're not my friend. You're my mom and a bully. But I can try to be a friend. <laughs> mm -mm. Have some faith, mom. Really? Yeah, try me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Man. I wonder what it's going to feel like to smoke a blunt. Eh? Don't you dead. <laughs> there you go. 